Welcome to SketchUp. These are our first steps for our first project. We're going to start off by making a new folder in our drives and you're going to name it SketchUp. Please do that now. Pause the video. Now, let's open up a project. They are actually called models. Go to new in your drive. Hit more. Go to SketchUp for schools. You'll have a few options. For this particular project, we're going to use a simple template in meters. Let's start off by reviewing some tools. The very top left, you have some options. You have a menu bar that lets you open up model preferences. That takes you back where we just were. Your model name goes here. This is what we want to do. We want to name our project. You're going to use your name, your first name, and call it Blueprint. The model menu is up here. It drops down like so. There's all kinds of other things you can do here. Make a new one, open an old one, save this one as something else, export, download, or print. And here is where you save your work. Do this often. Okay, so here we are, I'm in my drive. I go to new, like I said already earlier, go to more, down here to sketch up for schools. It opens up, this takes a minute because it's pretty big. The first thing we're gonna use is the orbit tool and in conjunction with the pan tool to get ourselves into a bird's eye view for our two dimensional modeling. So I'm gonna grab it and flip it around. Two fingers on my Mac trackpad, you could use the control and the mouse wheel for this on a Windows machine. And then the pan, bring it over a little bit more. And then this is tricky, this might take you a little longer than it's taking me. This, I gotta say, is the hardest thing I learned how to do. So now that looks pretty good. So. I have myself uh, an example of what we're looking at. This is something a child has made. If I zoom in really closely, I can see all of the dimensions. Uh, this is on a grid. Each grid we're going to call one meter. That's how we're going to work with this. So let's get started first with this uh, living room, which is 10 by 6. We're going to make all of these separately and drag them together later because once you join things and you try to resize, it changes everything, which we don't want. So go to the line. I click here. And you notice that's sometimes red. That means it's on the red axis. I want that to be 10. I type in 10. Down here at the very bottom right, you see it says 10. I hit enter. That is 10 meters long. The next one is six. So I go down like this. I want it on the green. It doesn't look parallel to the green line, but trust me it is, we're just not 100% uh, bird's eye view. That was six, enter six, enter. Over here, back to the red, bump in 10, enter. And I know now this is a perfect rectangle, exactly the size I wanted it to be. Back over here, this is 16 by 10, which means these are 135 degree angles. So I'll start off drawing a line. That is 16 across. Type in 16 and enter. Okay, there it is. I'm going to escape now. Now I'm going to go and get out of there. Now I'm going to go down here to the tape measure and select the protractor. So now I've got the protractor, tap on the edge. Over here, tap again in the right direction. Type in 135, enter. I've got my line. Here, same thing. Tap, tap. Go this way, 135, enter. Now I've got my lines, fantastic. I'm gonna go back over here to pan and zoom now, because I wanna be able to see more of that space. I'm gonna make a 10 meter line now. Back to the line here. Ready to guess about where I'm gonna want it. Tap over here, type in 10, enter. All right, it's longer than I wanted it to be, so I'm gonna to go to the select tool, select this, and then I'm gonna go, then go to the move tool. Bring that down here, or you want it, wonderful. Back to the line tool. And I'm gonna finish drawing this. And boom, now I've got the second portion done. What else do I need? I need this strange shape here that is also six by two by six. Okay, so. That's pretty straightforward. I don't need to do any measuring of angles. 
six by, I want that on the green, six by two. And I don't have to measure angles because it'll just do it automatically for me there. Wonderful. What else are we after? We've got one, two, three now, another one over here. The toilet shower is one, it's a strange shape, but we're going with it, six by three. Okay, back this way. I'm gonna go back to the pan tool so I can see what I'm doing. And now to make sure I'm getting everything where I want it, select this. Actually, no, I'm gonna select this one first so I don't join them by accident. Move it over here. Okay. Back to select this one over here and then move it like so, go this way, three on the red axis and enter, and then six down here and close it up. Excellent, so let me select that now and move it up here the way we like it for our floor plan. Being a little fidgety, keeping in mind this is just to really get you started. You can go into other tutorials later to get the more minute details of what we're after. Wonderful. Okay, so now back to orbit. We can see we have our floor plan where it was expected to be. That's odd in that it's done itself down there. I'm gonna select that one, move that one up there. Okay, now we think of a two dimensional floor plan. The last step. Let's orbit that out a little bit so we can get more of a wow effect. If you don't like this guy here, this is just um, a person in there for perspective. So now, over here to the push-pull tool, I start from the back, work my way up. I'm gonna make it three meters tall. And then I'm gonna select this one, push-pull tool. Let's make this one a little taller. Let's make that 3.5. Select this one. Push pull tool, like this one. What do you figure, 2.2? .2. Let's make it look interesting. And then finally select the last one. Push pull tool. And uh, get whatever size we like. I'm not even gonna put that one in exactly. I like it that size. I decided to make this one a little bit taller. Push pull. So now we've got ourselves a little three-dimensional model we've made very quickly. Now you can take a screenshot of this. Uh, this actually can be used for three-dimensional printing as well once we've joined them all together. That's it for today. The world, the world is, is a baby.